All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing radical equations. You ready, class? Yeah! Any math? Yeah, math! That's a good job. Classic. Never gets old. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. Let's see. Can anyone solve this just intuitively in their minds? Oh, I'm going to put on some homeschool colors. Do you mind? No. No, I'm going to put it on now. All right, nice. Lucky number 10. Yeah. You guys are a perfect 10. Aww. Aww. It's chapter 10. It is chapter 10. Nice, nice. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. My hometown. Oh, yeah. Home state. The really? number 10 matches the back too, so you're always reminded that you're number 10. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're 10. You're still 10. You're 10. Okay. So what is... Uh, what would X be? Isn't it already... What is x? We're solving equations, we're solving for x now. What is x? The square root of what number is 5? 25. 25. Ooh. <gasps> uh, Woo! x is 25. Yeah, I'm happy you approve. <laughs> x equals 25. Alright, here is the idea. To reduce or to cancel square roots, does anyone know what you do to both sides? I'm glad you don't, because that's why we're learning. Okay? You square both sides of a square root. You square both sides. Watch. Square both sides. Okay. What is the square root of x times the square root of x? X. X. Correct. This is the square root of x. We're going to write it down one time. Square root of x. Square root of x. Over here. 5 squared, we have as 25, remember? Right. 25. This becomes the square root of what? Uh, no, look at this. That square. becomes x. This becomes x. Yeah, I'm going to write it all out. X. So it becomes x, it becomes x squared, which is x, yeah. so it shows that x equals 25. That is so correct. Thank you. That's right. x equals 25. So, to cancel a square root, what do you do to both sides? Square, square both sides. All right. Wait, say that one more time. To cancel square roots from an equation, you square both sides. Good. So that's going to happen for the rest of today. And it's, that's all, that's the main concept. Here it goes. Erasing. It's like our love. You can't erase our love. You can't erase our love, even though it's a black spot. <laughs> but we make it pure. Love, love represents a black blob on the white one. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. All right. Do we square both sides first, or do we simplify somehow, some way? Yes? I think that we should simplify by subtracting 7. Correct. Yes. So we going. we need to reduce the radical before we square. Reduce before we square. So what do we do? We have we heard subtract seven, that's very good. Minus seven. Minus seven. Minus seven. That equals square root of x plus one. Plus one equals three. tell me. Three. 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 Now we square both sides. Can you wait for a second? I can wait for a sec. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm at a restaurant and someone's like, watch my bag, I'll like... <laughs> and then like, and then they go, and they, you know, and then I'm eating, whatever, and then I see them coming back and I'm like, go like this, and like, were you watching that the whole time? I was like, you told me to watch it. <laughs> and then they feel bad, and then I don't pay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My bag. I'm okay. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. What is uh, the solutions? Solution. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what is? Like, what no. is? Yeah. I think. You, think. Like, you want me to tell you what I think? I want to. I want you to tell me what you know. I think Tell I the Maryland boy. I think I know Maryland boy. Go. X equals... No, no, not X equals. Well, but then I don't know. Okay, I'm glad you tried, though. How, what, when we squared this square root, what's left over? Just what's inside. 
right? Yeah, so technically it's okay if you solve for x. Yeah, we will solve for x. Maybe you jumped ahead. I just want to write x plus 1. I know, I didn't. That's the square root of x plus 1 squared. Oh. The square root okay. of x plus 1 squared is x plus 1. Correct. Good. And then does the, does the, does the, does the 3 squared become 9? It does. That's good. I'm glad you apply. When you apply, you get results. That's good. Minus one. Minus one, and we're done. That's an X Wait. Equal. That's what I was gonna say. That X equals. <laughs> question. <laughs> question. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Yes. Question. What makes you square X plus one and three? To get rid of the square root sign, you square both sides. Okay, in algebra, whatever you do to one side, you do the other, so you square both sides. There, x equals 8. Here is the thing we have to start keeping in mind now. Always check your answers with these because some of them will not work. Some of them will not work, so let's plug in. 8 plus 1 in here. What's the square root of 8 plus 1? 9. nine. Square root of 9. Which is 3. 3. 3 plus 1 plus 7. Seven. Hey! So it works. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was great. <laughs> Nothing like a good hey. <laughs> Erasing. Better than her. No way. No way. Erasing. Bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> okay. Ready. This is number three of five. We're on it. Three. I know. It's okay. It's I. Right. It's I. Right. Three plus. <laughs> Five. Square root of n equals eighteen. All right. <laughs> Radical equations are very humorous. <laughs> More simplification necessary. That's all. Can we isolate the radical? Yes. Minus three. Minus three. I love that. And then. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Minus three by eighteen. Minus three on both sides. Why don't we do minus 5? Oh, because that's not a subtraction five. function. We're multiplying here, so we're not going to minus 5. What are we going to do? Divide. Divide. Good. See, you asked the question, and you answered it yourself. That's great. Excellent. Minus 3. It is excelente. Minus 3, minus 3. Hey. What's left? What's left? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um, Five square root of n equals fifteen. Divide five. Divide five. Square root n equals three. No, the square root of n. Correct. The square root of n equals three. And then do you, and you square root both of them. You, you, you square both. Square. Square both. So we're squaring both sides. You square both sides up. So the square root of n squared is n. n. Good job. Good. And 3 squared, done. 4, 9. Wow. Wow. This makes sense. All right, let's plug I it like in. I like this one. I'm glad. Me too. Me too. Me too. Let's do it. Let's plug it in. 3 plus 5 times the square root of 9. We're plugging in 9. 3. 3 so plus 5 times 3. 5 times 2. Wow. 15. That's 15. Whoa. That is so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, <laughs> works. <laughs> you don't get teary eyes. <laughs> Careful. <sighs> I'm not. Don't look at me. All right, here we go. Now it's going to get a little spe especial. Especial. <laughs> Especial espressos. <laughs> what? Okay. Is this is the radical? I, I, uh, behold. <laughs> I know my skirt. <laughs> is the radical isolated? Yeah. Yes, it is. So we are ready to square both sides. All right. If there was a plus two here, we would subtract it, and then we would do our squaring. Mm -hmm. But the radical is ready to be, like, we can't do anything more, is what we're trying to say. We can't isolate this anymore, so we square both sides. Here we go. Lump. Lump. Okay, so. Did you say lump? Lump. The square root has been canceled, so what, what's remaining here? 5x minus Then you get the exact same thing. 5x, not necessarily. 
Oh, never mind, never mind. I changed my mind. Okay, then what are you left with? X squared. 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 Oh, X squared. Because, uh-oh. How do we solve this now? Uh, oh, oh, you, 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 <laughs> <laughs> subtract 5x. Don't divide. Nice uh, try. I didn't say divide. Oh, what'd you say? Subtract. Subtract 5x. Divide. What's a y? What else do we subtract from both, or add to six, both sides? Six. Six. Ooh. Wait, wait, why are you, then you got nothing left. What's the That's right. You have nothing left. Your answer. Minus. What's left over here? Zero. Zero. Zero equals. You have what to write these? zero? Why yes. You, you guys are on your way to the solution and you do not know it yet, which is great. Does this look familiar? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. God. What do you have to do? Oh my god. I yeah, the what's, foil. what's this called? Foil. Oh, uh, no, the foil. Not foil. Not foil. Do you have it? Almost. I know what you think. Put it back in the foil. <laughs> factor. factor! This is setting to zero. Factor, factor. Here we go, factor it. <laughs> X, X and X. X and X. And three and two. And three and two. Oh my god, memory. Three and two. Good minus, minus. Minus, minus. Alright, a quick foil to check will prove. If we FOIL x times x, x squared, minus 2x, minus 3x, what's minus 2x minus 3x? Minus 5x. Minus 5x. And L. Plus 6. Plus 6. There you go. And what are our two solutions now? 3 and 2. 3 and 2. X plus 2 and 2. Oh, and then it just said it's a 0. Yeah. Alright, Rock. Now we have to check both. Here we go. 3 into here. What's 5 times 3? 15. 15. 15. Minus 6 is? 9. nine. Square root of 9? 3. 3 equals three. original 3. Click. Check mark. Okay. What? 2. We're, we're plugging in 2. Volunteer to plug in 2. Here. Um, okay. 10. Okay. Um, so that's. Yeah, go ahead. 10. 10. Minus 10, 6, 10, 4, 4, 2, 2. Square root of 4 is 2. It works. Both of them work. Both of them work. All right, guys. Oh. One more quick one. A little quickie. A little, uh, we're out of time. We're out of time. Okay. Never mind. That's the idea, though. You're comfortable squaring both sides? Yeah. Wait, Mr. Yeah. Andrew, so what's the answer to that? X equals 3 and X equals 2. All right, Marilyn works. It's nice. You guys are... I feel like if you had a screen name, it would be like Marilyn Boy 818. Marilyn Boy 818. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye class. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.